enterprise AI, uh, it's interesting because there's actually two components that we actually see uh, evolving for AI. The first is what we call AI for networking. So that's all about how you use AI to automate and simplify ongoing operations, ultimately leading to a better experience, right? And that's been around for a little while, you know, uh, going back six, seven years, you know, even to the early days of MIST. The newer market is more how you build a network infrastructure to support new generative AI environments like AI clusters and AI workloads, right? That's what we call networking for AI. Again, so they're kind of two sides of the same coin, but both of them are arising from the fact that AI and networking are coming together. And there's a strong synergy between the two and how the things evolve. How to leverage AI is often a question we get all the time, right? And as you can imagine, there's possibly you know, some trepidation or concern or just questions as to what do I use with that? What skill sets do I need? How do I use that? And that's actually why Juniper launched what we call our AI Native Acceleration Blueprint. And this is a blueprint for accelerating the adoption of an AI Native framework, right? So everything from courses, like AI for networking courses for business leaders, which literally just says, what is AI ops and, and, and how do I use it and how do I measure it, to um, specific um, you know, bundles so you can get the products in your hands quicker, to ways to just implement it through better services and, and better um, uh, adoption capabilities. So that's the blueprint for acceleration, which we found is really needed in this environment because as we said, everyone knows they need to get to AI, but they don't not quite know how to get from A to B and make it a reality. And that's what we're trying to enable. So what AI brings to the equation is actually two things. One is the ability to actually accept an infinite amount more data. And then number two is the ability to apply insight to that data, you know, convert big data to, to big knowledge, right? You know, the best example is you've always been able to collect SNMP or event alerts, right? But if you're getting hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of event alerts in a day, you don't know what to do with that, right? And you can't even process that or store that, right? So AI, one, gets you uh, the alerts that are more specific to an actual experience, not just specific to a device. Then two, it combines that with the knowledge, the recommendations saying, if you had a Zoom problem, go check out your WAN, or go check out the Zoom server, or go check out you know, your, your wireless. It gives you that insight as to where to go look, how to fix it. In some instances, it'll fix it for you, go into completely self-driving. You could not do that before without AI, and now it's a completely different world for networking. In fact, that's what we call the now way to network. The old way is really event-driven, is really network-driven. The new way is really about user experience-driven and leveraging AI for better automation, better insight, and better assurance. The evolution of AI, I think, requires the right foundation. And again, that's what we call the AI native networking platform, right? If you have the right ability to pull in data, to use that data, the right infrastructure, the right way to secure it, you can continue to bring in new AI models and technologies. Gen AI is a perfect example, right? We've been using a virtual network assistant for six years, right, with a conversational interface. That's not new. NLP, NLU is not new. But Gen AI makes it different. It brings a new level of insight and awareness. That's an example where you can bring in that new technology, add it to the framework so it gets even better, right? So that's really what we're all about. Um, over the course of nine years, we've added dozens, hundreds of new data science algorithms to do new things, to get better efficiency, to reduce false positives. If you have the right infrastructure, you can just continue to evolve, continue to scale, and continue to get better and leverage the new technologies as they come out. And the other thing that's really worth mentioning is the only way AI really works to deliver end-to-end -end experiences, end-to-end -end assured experiences, is you need a platform that extends end-to-end, -end, right? So from the minute someone gets on, on the network, right, connects to the wireless uh, domain, goes across a wired network, goes across a WAN, goes across a data center, goes into the cloud, hits the application, all of those elements need to tie together. So one of the things that Juniper really advances is the fact that our AI native platform incorporates all of our domains. We bring in campus and branch, we bring in data center, we bring in WAN routing, we bring in security to give that end-to-end -end holistic view. That's how you can assure experiences, and that's one of the things that really makes us unique. Welcome to the future of networking, where artificial intelligence transforms the way we connect. AI has been bringing value to networking for many years. Recurrent neural networks, RNNs, and other machine learning approaches have helped with network optimization and management. The advent of generative AI and new techniques have upped the game. Imagine a world of autonomous infrastructure where networks are self-configuring, self-optimizing, and self-healing. This is the AI for networking vision that vendors are promising. But how close are we to achieving it? From design and deployment to management and optimization, artificial intelligence is enhancing every aspect of networking. 
troubleshooting becomes a breeze and customer support reaches new heights. Are these enhancements living up to the hype? Join us and share your views in our video showcase of top thought leaders. Contribute to our comprehensive report on how artificial intelligence is impacting the management and operations of networking. AIOps.